Hello everyone and welcome back to the Center for Offered Research Shenanigans and Science Technical Division and I'm just going to run something by you guys real quick so we think about it. Um, I had the idea to uh, change the wheels like many of you guys so um, I always like to get a starting place and sorry about this. I'll try to get a measurement on how much a stock wheel weighs. That's uh, 48.5 grams. I thought, how much would a plastic uh, Red Cat 1.9 with Rovers weigh? So, finding out myself with you guys. So, that's 93. So, that's already a big jump up. Literally uh, 55, roughly, gram increase on the tail that will give it a little bit lower center of gravity. But I thought, what about if I put a metal bead lock on the front? Well, that shoots it to 114 over 93. So that's an extra 20 grams right there. And uh, how could that be bad? Give you a little more weight bias to the front and uh, not as much on the back where you don't want it. And since these are, I believe, 3.85 tires, they're only slightly larger than stock. So that's not terrible. Um, it's uh, They're just about that much bigger. So I'm gonna give away a little bit of center gravity due to the larger size diameter, but I think I'll get it all back with this heavier weight up front, plus the fact that I've got rovers instead of what I call delivery tires. And uh, as far as delivery tires go, these aren't bad. They're decent, but they're still stock wheels, stock tires, and you can only get so much out of them. Let me know what you think. I thought I'd throw these on the front and this on the back. I could have painted them uh, before I put them together, but I didn't because I'm impatient and I don't really care. So um, let me know what you think. It looks like as far as the axle goes, it doesn't care either because it still sits pretty level regardless of whether I have the stock tire on it or the rover with the 1.9. And I know some of you will have a problem with that silver up front and black in the back. I don't. Um, I may still go back and paint it, but I'll just tape it off and spray it if I do. Just the center portion. But here's one thing I like in a crawler is I like the front axle to be heavier and the back axle lighter so that if it goes full um, extension on one of the wheels like this, it still doesn't have enough weight to pull the truck, uh, basically to pull it upside down. So the front axle can hang on to the truck by itself even if this thing fully articulates and drops out beneath the truck, it's still not gonna tip over. Well, provided the front wheels are somewhat level. I mean, if you're already at an incline and you drop a wheel down a hole, it's obviously going to fall, but uh, this is pretty good. I'm happy with that, and I'll probably put a brass diff cover on it, brass portal boxes, and whatever I can put on the front axle, but I'm not really a fan of weighting the back axle because uh, when it comes time for uh, the front to have to do a pull up for the whole truck because it's the only two wheels gripping as you're climbing, uh, I like that front axle to be able to have enough weight on it to pull itself forward. The back, if you're tipped up, already has uh, the weight transfer to the back tires. I mean, it, in this case, all the weights on the back tires because it's balancing on them so this is why I don't weight a, a rear axle it doesn't make sense to it only the only reason I would ever weight the rear axle is on an incline if it's too steep and it keeps tipping over and it's just front heavy um, otherwise I don't I don't weight the back axles at all and I violate the 60 40 uh, weight distribution all the time but I think 65-35 is a little better. 
The reason why I hadn't planned on driving this tonight is then I realized I have a landscape basement, so I thought, why not? And I'll kind of show you the side hilling ability that has increased since doing this uh, upgrade. The uh, front and back axle are heavier than they were before, the front being much heavier with the um, metal e-locks. And I'm really glad that the guys at the 118 Forum taught me into getting the Rovers because those are sticky. These are fantastic tires. I really like them. And uh, they just, they're fantastic. That's all I can say about them. They're really good. And uh, I'll get this thing to lay back down so I can finish my climb. Might have my left rear a little bit far over. No matter. I'll take the reverse just to get it up there. But this is a great truck. I don't know that it needs anything else. Uh, by keeping the wheels close to stock st uh, size, I didn't give away any torque that I did give away when I had uh, 4.19 tires on it. Uh, that longer arm from the axle to the ground was noticeable. Also, I had uh, these exact same bead locks, but all the way around, instead of just on the front. And it does give it a forward weight bias, I noticed that. And this, this thing is a good crawler now. I'd love to get it back out to Red Rock before the snow flies because I think this thing could now go over the wall. I wouldn't mind being the first guy to do that. And uh, I believe this may actually have a chance to do it. If I add anything else to it, it might be just a uh, front diff cover and metal portal boxes, but I don't think it needs anything else. Uh, upgraded motor and uh, I think it's good to go. I still would like to get it dropped down a little bit lower if somebody makes a shock hoop kit to mount the upper portions of the shock higher. I would certainly be interested in that. And uh, I think that's all for this video. We'll talk to you later.